everyone to this edition of Looking at Louisville. My name is Chaz. And I'm Stacy. Now this is the Spring Break Family Edition. And we're coming family. to you. What a stress That's right, family. We're coming to you from the Little Paradise Cafe here in Louisville, Kentucky, right on the edge of the Highlands. And what a great place to start off Spring Break with your kids for breakfast, lunch, or even dinner. All right. And people from all around the world have come here. In fact, there's a map over here on the wall where it shows people have come here from every continent and have eaten here. Mark your spot. Yeah. Well, we did a little backwards. We thought we were going to start with breakfast and we got up a, a little late. Yeah. So we started with lunch, actually. I had a grilled portobello mushroom wrap. It was awesome. I had a uh, grilled chicken sandwich and uh, some cantaloupe. And it was, it's like it's like eating at home. It's very much home cooking. And what I like about it is the salt and pepper shakers. Nothing matches. This is a very eclectic recipe. Well, I did want to tease you a little bit what we would have had for breakfast. And now we're going to have it for dessert. And that is mm. one of their quintessential uh, dishes here that Lynn makes. In fact, this one uh, in an episode of Throwdown with Bobby Flay. This is the bourbon ball French toast. She had some other menu items, too, that are still on the menu. And she beat him. She beat him. And this is just a wonderful example of that. We've also got a uh, fairly melting bourbon ball milkshake uh, that uh, you'll want to check out when you're here. Now, we're going to have to burn this off somehow. So what are they going to do? What are we going to do to burn off this food? Well, Lola has a lot of things that you can do uh, over spring break, and we're going to refer back to some of the previous podcasts that we've done, things like the Kentucky Derby Museum, the Little Slugger, Bat Factory, oh, some, yeah, some wonderful attractions. Today we're going to talk about two that we haven't visited, we can walk off these calories, starting at the Louisville Zoo. We're going to visit with a, a great attraction at the Louisville Zoo, one-year-old baby Scotty, the African elephant that was born to Mickey. Uh, we're going to visit with him, he's going to be celebrating a birthday over the spring break for some people, and then we're going to end things on Museum Row in downtown Louisville on Main Street at the Louisville Science Center. It's Kentucky's largest hands-on well, now, if you'd like to be a part of this podcast, it's really easy. Send us an email, podcast at gotolobal.com. And if we use your question, whatever you want to send us, please let us know. Even We can even probably send you the recipe for this as well. Sure, let me. Uh, sure, she would not. And if we use it, we'll send you a cool Lobal swag, a t-shirt, a cap, something of that nature. So, with all that being said, I'm. Uh, this looks really good, and we'll catch you up with you in just a moment. Good. All right, we're here at the Lobal Zoo, and I have Dave Campbell here with me, and we've got Scotty, and, of course, the other animal is Stacy. Now, Dave, tell us a little bit about Scotty because he was born in captivity here at the Louisville Zoo. Yeah, he's born uh, right at 11 months ago. He's weighing in right about 1,000 pounds right now. He gains right at about 2 pounds a day. It'll take him some 22 to 24 years to get full grown, and at which time he'll be, give or take, uh, almost as tall as that wall, about 11 foot tall, 12, 14,000 pounds. Uh, he'll go outside for you know, a couple, three or four hours, and then uh, we'll, uh, of course, we'll come in in the morning, we'll clean everything, give him a bath. But he mostly nurses, oh. you know. He's actually starting to eat some hay and grain now, but, uh, you know, and I'll give him some treats and stuff. But, uh, How long will he nurse? He'll nurse, give or take a year and a half, two years old. If people come out to the Lowell Zoo, how often will they see him, and how close can they get to him? And... They'll see him every day, weather permitting. From uh, you know, ten we open up till close. Well, happy birthday to Baby Scotty! Come check him out at the Wolf Zoo. Okay, I left Chaz eating lunch with Baby Scotty and snuck away with my good friend Kara, who brought me over on a golf cart to, to where we are now, the Gorilla Forest exhibit. That's right. I want you to talk a little about this, uh, which is great to do whatever the weather is because of the indoor environment, and then tell us a little bit about the other permanent attractions that people can see when they come to the Louisville Zoo. Well, you're right, Stacey. The Louisville Zoo is actually open year-round. We're only closed three days a year, so even if it is cold and nippy outside or it's raining, we have a lot of great exhibits you can come to, like the Gorilla Forest here we have currently um, that's right we currently have 11 gorillas here so you can come out and spend time here and we actually have some really cool camps going on year-round about the one where you can actually sleep where we are right now. yeah if you just go to our website livelazoo.org you can check out all the cool camps we have going on and one is actually a family night safari camp out so you where can you actually spend the night you here can. in the gorilla exhibit. yeah you bring your sleeping bags and pull them out so I don't know who, who's on display you're watching <laughs> them and they're watching your interesting family habits so that that's right really cool but beyond that, there are a lot of cool things going on here at the Louisville Zoo. We have a lot of interactive exhibits like Flora Keat Landing, where the birds will come and they'll land right on you. And Wallaby Walkabout, where you can walk around and the wallabies will maybe come right up to you. Very cool. <laughs> so even if your family spring break plans don't include the wildness of the beach, you can have a wild time here at the Louisville Zoo. 
Okay, we're here now at the Global Science Center down on Main Street, and we're at the IMAX Theater, and I've got Greg Kovaleski with me, and he is the theater manager here, and we're here in front of this big Mac Daddy IMAX player. I don't what, what do you want to call this? Projector. What, projector. Yes. Now, this thing is huge. The wall is huge, and you get to show great movies in here. Now, tell us why this is a great place to come for kids and families and moms and dads for spring break. Traditionally, our uh, IMAX films um, are educational entertainment based. Uh, right now, we are running uh, Hurricane on the Bayou, wonderful film. We are also showing Mummies, Secret, uh, Secrets of the Pharaohs, which is a very interesting film about the mummification process and kind of the history of uh, uh, Egyptology uh, via the mummies, the study of mummies. And um, now in May, we're going to be opening up Dinosaurs Alive. Oh, that would be great because yeah. my son is a huge fanat fanatic about and, dinosaurs. And we're going to have an exhibit to go along with it. Great. So, Chaz, I mean, yeah, absolutely. So it, it's, it's going to be, you, you can't beat it. I am with Scott Alvey, and he's the director of Visitor Interaction, very cool title. And uh, we are in front of the new uh, Brains exhibit, which is a temporary exhibit. It's going to run through... Through the 1st of May. It's one of three exhibits we get uh, throughout the year. Uh, and Brain, obviously, is going to focus a lot on the human brain. And I also saw some other brains in there, too. That yeah. When you first start off in the exhibit, this one has different types of brains from dinosaur brains and other primates and dogs. Okay, and I hear that's a real favorite with the kids? Everybody loves to see the real items when, when possible. And that's a nice, uh, a nice aspect of this exhibit. It's a hands-on interactive exhibit that talks about an item that you normally don't get much hands-on right. experience with. Tell us about the hands-on things. What can we expect? Buttons to push, things to feel? Things to feel, things to open. Um, there's a variety of different pieces here because the exhibit talks about uh, brain disorders, talks about brain development through uh, early childhood on into adulthood. Of course, we made it into a place that, being a big kid myself, I love to bring my kids. This is the Kids Zone here at the Global Science Center, and I'm here with Robin. Now, what is it that kids get to do in the Kids Zone exactly? In Kids Zone, they can be a bus driver, they can fly an airplane, they can be an astronaut and be in a space rocket. Um, there's a water exhibit they can play with. There's puppets and costumes. Just a lot of dramatic play, a place for a place that's just for little children. So it's a, there's a lot of freedom, and you basically say, yes, hands on. We want you to touch everything. We want you oh, to play yes. with everything. Yeah, everything's hands on here. It's it's all about the children. I'm here with Erica Dunsford. She's the marketing director for the Louisville Science Center. Erica, thank you for having us. Oh, here thanks today. for coming. This is Then Hotep. Um, she is our resident mummy, and she has been with the Science Center as long as, as the Science Center has been around. And she was actually recently identified as a female. Okay. I'm referring to her as she. Right. She is, in fact, so now, now we female. Know. Okay. We know for sure that she is. She was acquired from the St. Louis uh, World's Fair. Mm -hmm. That's how Louisville actually uh, got her here. So um, she is probably our most popular exhibit here, even though we are a science and technology center. Well, I would say we've had a very fun day, you know, as far as for spring break goes and the found This is some great stuff. It's really been one of my favorite podcast tapings Gosh, because you... of the behind-the-scenes stuff that we got to do and the mm -hmm. cool things. Yeah, we are in a theater all to ourselves right. where we get to do that. And we get to either see, let's see, The Living Sea. Um, mummies. Mummies. Uh, Wired to Win. Mm -hmm. Or Hurricane on the Bayou. Hurricane on the Bayou. Which that's kind of my favorite. My pick. Is that your pick? I'm all, you know, I'm all about the bayou. But you know what? Ladies' choice right. today. So. Well, thank you. So uh, thank you all very much for your for hanging out with us. And, uh, Enjoy as your spring break. That's right. Oh, hold on. They're dimming the lights. Yeah. So as always. You're looking at love. Uh, see you real soon. Going over here. Okay, as we, I've been doing some B-roll recording for this shoot. Mark, who, who you never get to see, he's kind of the behind-the-scenes guy. Every time he gets close to this window, it, the, the ape runs over and hits its hand against the, uh, the, the the wall here, the glass. I'm just either figuring, does the ape think it's another ape in competition, or does he think Mark is his mate? <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that.